Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm really excited for today because I am talking all about specific products that are on my wish list. So, so today is usually a new releases video, but I am out healing from tonsil surgery. So today we're gonna be talking about items that are on my wish list. I did one a couple weeks ago um, with brands on my wish list. So today's gonna be the specific items that I want. Before we get started, I would love for you to subscribe to my channel. Tomorrow starts our fall giveaway, so be sure you have your notifications bell on. And let's go ahead and get into products that are on my wish list. So my wish list items are regardless of price. They are just products that I want to have in my collection and that I want to try. So the first one is the Colored Rain Vivid Pigments. And this is what they look like. I think those are absolutely beautiful colors. Uh, I think that they're shades that I could add to my collection that would give it some more depth in color range. And I really want to have them. <laughs> so that is the first item on my wish list. Another item on my wish list is an hourglass ambient lighting powder. So I have wanted, I just have a picture of this one. Um, I don't have a specific one that I want. I have wanted to try one for probably six, seven years now since I first heard people start talking about them, but they are so expensive I could not break down and buy one. Um, but it's still on my wish list and hopefully someday I will get to try one. Lining powder is is still on my wish list. Okay, tell me guys, have you tried one and is it really as good as everyone says it is? Because if it's not, off the wish list. Uh, another item that's on my wish list that I'm I'm not sure if I'm picking up or not, but I would love to have it, is the Blush Tribe Fall Fusion Palette. I love Blush Tribe Shadows. I've got the, well, I have the Hasina 2 palette and I love that palette and those shadows. Um, but these shadows and shades look gorgeous. If there is a sale that comes up soon, I will purchase that palette. Um, they have lots, lots of other palettes coming up, but I just think that the, I think these shades are just a beautiful fall selection. You could do several different looks with this. I think it's gorgeous. I love how Blush Tribe does shades that are they just have shades that are so unique to other palettes and they really care about their color selection and what people want out of it. So um, another, I still have this on my wish list. I still want it. Um, I just think it's a very unique, interesting color selection and I think it's beautiful. I love those colors in there. It's the Smashbox sun sunlit palette. So I'm so waiting for my 20% off coupon from Ulta and then hopefully I can stack my points on top of it. I don't know when we're going to get another one. It has been a while but this is the Smashbox sunlit palette and I think it's gorgeous. Uh, another product that I have in my wish list that has been here forever is this space drenched highlighter palette from Love Lux Beauty. It launched in June it is still on my wish list. They're, they are so beautiful. They are so unique looking. The price is a lot though. It was $42 for six highlighters, which I, I just don't need to spend that much because I don't even know if they'll all look good on me or not. If there's a sale, maybe it'll go on clearance. I don't know if that happens over at Love Lux Beauty but gorgeous shades, gorgeous. Um, another product I have on my wish list is the Multi Chrome Shadows from Dawn Eyes Cosmetics. I talked a little bit about these in my brands on my wish list because Dawn Eyes is on my brand on my wish list because of these Multi Chrome Shadows, but I wanna say that they are pretty expensive as well. An eighth of a teaspoon is $6. <laughs> and three quarters of a teaspoon is $20. So they are pretty pricey. They, they look like they would be worth it. Um, and at some point I would like to try that. I think that is so beautiful and I just wanna see how it changes colors. And then another product that I have is, is a set that was put together. This is from Davina Cosmetics and this is from May. <laughs> 
And I just think that these shades are beautiful. Here's some swatches of it. Um, but I think that put together was really pretty. And it... So it is $60, which is probably too much for me to spend on that, um, especially when that Fall Fusion one is like $30. But these, they're gorgeous. And at some point, I do want to try Davina. Um, Davina Cosmetics was on my brand wish list. Um, and that palette is a palette that really, I really liked. They also duped the Icy Beach palette from T Tarte. Um, so that would be another one that I would want to try. But what I'll probably end up doing is just buying some shadows from Davina Cosmetics to try. But those, those combinations that they put together are beautiful. And that pink one is on my wish list. Another item on my wish list is from LaBelle UK, and it is the Color Spur Splurge Palette. This launched at the end of August, and I may still end up purchasing that one. I thought that was gorgeous. This I just really think that these shades have so much to offer to a colorful collection. They are so different from other shades that I have in my collection, and I have a lot of colorful shadows. So um, another thing is it... it it is only $20, which I think is a good deal for nine shades. That's just like a tad more than $2 a shadow. But it's the shipping that is killing me because I want to say it's like over $10 for them to ship. Um, we'll see. I still want to get that. Another item on my wish list, I have no idea what it looks like, but I will be purchasing it, it is the Tribe Palette by Juvia's Place. And I'm not sure if they... I talked about this, I think, two weeks ago on my will I buy it but how pretty is the outside of that packaging oh my gosh I can't wait to have that another product I really want to try I think I've talked about this several times on my channel are the are the Suva Beauty what are they called Hydra liners so this is what they look like and you just wet them a little bit and you use them as like you would a gel liner. But I love that they have so many unique colors and from what I've seen they're very pigmented. So I will be getting one of those at some point. It may not be now, uh, but I will have one of those. I'm kind of waiting for either Suva Beauty to have a sale or for them to come out with a palette that I want so I can combine that together. Um, but I probably could just spend, I probably could just, but I probably could just order uh, several of those too because they, oh my gosh, they're so beautiful. They are so beautiful. Uh, this might be kind of silly, but it's on my wish list and it has been on my wish list since before it launched. Um, I think I found out about this in like June, but it, it launched in August and it's the Benefit Brow Contour Pro. I think that is such a cool idea and um, unique. So it has four different uh, sticks of color inside of that pen and then you click it up. And then you click up for the color that you want. But I love Benefit Brow products and I I love that concept and it's on my wish list. <laughs> Another product that's on my wish list that I still, oh, you know what? I should buy this now because there is a 20% off at Ulta. Actually, uh, I'm not going to be able to post a video about it, I don't think. But the 21 Days of Hair event is going on now. So if you need some hair products, check that out. But 20% off of one product is also going on right now. I may end up picking up the Soda Pop palette because that has not been included in the buy one get one half price off of Maybelline recently. Three more items that are on my wish list that are more from current releases. So these are all from last week's Will I Buy. So the first one is the Ultraviolet uh, palette from Smashbox. I talked about how I love that palette last week, but I think I need, like, I'll, I'll get one and see how I like it. Neither the Ultraviolet nor the Sunset one that I want are in store, in the Ulta, in, are in my Ulta store for me to be able to swatch. They have, like, every single one but the two I want. So, um, I won't be able to swatch that, but that is on my wish list. Another item on my wish list is the Menagerie Cosmetics 
Pharrell palette. This is $40 though. So it is going to be released October 5th. And here's what it looks like. So you can see um, how beautiful that palette is. I love it. I love it. There's just a couple neutrals, but lots of beautiful, new, different shades to me in there. Then the last item on my wish list is the new, uh, not released yet, Certify Infinity Palette. I was kind of like going back and forth on this one, and I thought it might not be on my wish list, but the more I look at those shades... And I think I would get a use out of those out of that palette. I love using pinks, purples, oranges, yellows, and all of those shades together. I love a sunset look on my eye with like the orange and purples and things like that. So I think that palette would be a really great palette for me to have. <laughs> so that is the last one on my wish list. I'm sure I have a I'm sure I have another mile long wish list of things. But those are like my top products that I would like to have at some point in my makeup collection. Um, if you are new here today, this is not my standard look. I did film this look because I had a request for a more neutral work school kind of look to wear. So I filmed this one um, and it will be up probably in a week or two on my channel, um, but I do typically have more colorful looks. So be sure you check some of those out as well. I do hope that you will subscribe before you leave. Click the notification bell. Don't forget that fall giveaway starts tomorrow. So be sure to check. And thank you so much for joining me for products on my wish list. I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye.